this is just a small introduction on how to set up a wireless local area network for a Siemens Speedstream 6520 full port wireless router. To start with we need to click onto the start button and open up a internet browser, Internet Explorer I have, although you can use other ones like Safari, Firefox, anything that you have or prefer. First thing to do is to click up into the address bar and type in the IP address of the router and then press the enter key. This will bring up the website for the router itself and you'll see that you only have three options on the left hand side. You do need to log into the admin account just by clicking onto the go button at the top here and it will ask you for a password just enter this in and press enter the key or click onto the login button. Once on this screen it gives you a summary of the, your connection at the moment and it gives you six options on the left now. The one that we need to go into is home network on the top. And then down to advanced settings down the bottom. Inside here it gives you a few options on what changes you can make for this router, particular model. The option that we need to go into is configure the local Speedstream Gateway Wireless Network. Click onto this and it gives you a rundown on, on how our wireless network is looking at the moment. At the moment it's set to disable, it's called Speedstream and it has no security on it so we'll make some changes and set this up by clicking onto the Begin Wireless Wizard. Inside this screen, it's asking us to enable the wireless interface. And an SSID is just the name of the connection that we want to make. So I'm going to call this Home Office. And then click onto the next key. Inside this screen, it's asking us what security we want to add on our wireless network. I'm going to add 64 bit encryption by choosing WEP 64 bits. And then clicking onto the next button again. On this screen it's asking us what the password is going to be for this connection and you can, in the passphrase you can put in any single word you like. I am going to put in the word ice cream and click onto the generate keys button. Now you can use any of these four keys although please make sure that the radio button is in the correct one of the one that you're wanting to use. For our purposes we're going to use the first one and then click on to next. On this screen it's asking us if we want to filter out our wireless network to give access to some computers while denying access to a lot of other computers. So I'm going to leave this to disable as I want to keep mine rather open and then click next. Now these three settings are set to default settings and they are data transfer rate, RTS, CTS threshold and fragmentation threshold. Just click onto the next key. And you're up to finish. So click onto the finish button on the right here and it will come up with a summary for us. Now our summary screen has changed. It's currently set to enabled. Our SSID is now called Home Office and we have 64 bits of encryption. So click onto the reboot button to save the changes and then click reboot. Whilst rebooting your router will start flashing some lights. It will power off after saving all the settings and the first light that comes back up is the power button. After this Ethernet comes back on, which is the yellow cord going to the back of your computer. And now we can close the screen down.